the props we use are not intended for what we do with them. So you have to find your own technicality using that prop, be it a broom or a pole or whatever. So yeah, there's lots of blisters and cuts involved along the way until you find technically how to use the prop. During the entire course of Stomp, was there ever an instance where you actually had to get rid of an instrument because it became too dangerous? <laughs> <laughs> we probably should have done. Uh, yeah, actually, with the original yeah, poles, yeah. with the shakers, we had the original poles, we had a shaker that fell apart. We had, uh, we did a thing with, um, like scraper blades that was pretty dangerous. Oh. You know, like, it might kill people, so we, we stopped. <laughs> doing that. Uh, there's a few. Th the original, the first time we worked on the all barrels, oh, yeah. we just had straps. That was, and we started. We started with six people at the back. And it was like it was like a race, made. and at the end of it, there's only one left. Everyone else oh, wow. just fell as they went forward like this. So a lot of it is trial and error. You get better. Yeah, the more we do it, the safer it gets. The better. Nowadays, you have to be safe straight away. Back in the day, you, we could afford to break a leg. And it I think a this, with a lot of the props, there's always going to be an element of danger. It's minimizing that on, in, you know, onto the staging environment.